All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Radio Legends, Cash Chronicles. All right, so we are back with another one of these videos. So this will be episode number two of our new series that is the unwritten laws or unwritten rules of the Australian prison system. So, um, yeah, just want to say thank you for everyone that tuned into my last video. It's doing really well. I'm really happy with the way that's going. So here part number two goes. And um, also, if you haven't already shot me a subscription, jump up there and shoot me a subscribe if you're enjoying my content. Smash that bell button. That way you'll never miss any of my content again. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first off the bat, we've got never pretend to be from a certain race or religion just to gain some kind of protection or think it will help you because you will get found out and they will definitely hurt you for this. So, you know, the reason I say don't pretend to be a certain race or a certain religion is because I'm going to use a certain race and a certain religion as an example. And um, so... Um, over my time, over all my years, I think it's been a very common thing for a very long time that a lot of people will pretend to be Aboriginal to try and gain that kind of protection. Um, I've made note of this before and mention of this that, you know, the the Aboriginals, the Kuris, they run a pretty tight ship and, um, you know, a lot of people wouldn't mind being protected under that umbrella. And um, so, yeah, a lot of people will pretend to be Aboriginal when they're not and they will get found out because they do all these background checks to see what your tribe is and all this stuff. And pretty soon people will start eating their own words and sometimes their teeth as well. Um, but um, also another one that, that's a, been a big thing ever since I was coming is a lot of people will – pretend to be Muslim or um, sign up to be a Muslim so they will like revert its calling because like it's not converting from another religion to Islam. It's called reverting because the Islam religion, they believe that everybody in the world is born a Muslim and that way you are not uh, converting, you are reverting. But you always see a lot of people will start going to Muslim church and start, you know, practicing that religion just for protection reasons and these people will always always get found out um it's become soon pretty evident that that's the only reason why you're doing it and neither of those crews you want to be messing with like that because they definitely will check you and keep you in check that's for sure um all right next one is don't ever tell the screws about anything a prisoner has done um has a prisoner has done to you even like meaning stolen property or assaulted you it will be seen as snitching if you tell the screws anything that's happened and you don't try and sort it out yourself it will definitely be seen as snitching and you will have people that will come and come down on your hard for that so you know you definitely do not want to be telling the screws like say for instance someone's gone into your cell and stolen something from your cell you definitely don't want to be going up to the screw saying hey boss or hey miss can you please check that camera for me um something's just been stolen from my cell that'll be seen as a left hand drop and that's a snitch and you will get left hand dropped yourself for for breaking that one and um you know like say for instance if if you're only new to the prison it's your first time in prison and someone's come up and punched you in the mouth for whatever reason you definitely definitely do not want to be um you do ne definitely do not want to be telling the screws about that. Now, I know you might think, you know, you're scared for your life, this and that, but I promise you, you go to the screws and you talk to the screws about what's just happened and it's going to make everything 10 times worse. So what I usually say, if anything happens to you and it's something that you can't sort out yourself and you're basically not willing to fight to the death for, I suggest you leave it alone because no one is going to come to your rescue and come and save you and come and do something for you that you're not willing to do yourself. So, you know, I always say that, yeah, if something happens to you and you can't deal with it yourself, 100%, you're better off dealing with it yourself instead of um, trying to get the screws involved because it will only backfire on you and you will be seen as a snitch wherever you go in the prison system and that label will stick with you forever um also so never ever be buddy buddy 
with any screws, be it male or female, as crims will see this as see this and automatically think that you are being a snitch. Also, the screws know that this will get you hurt and some will deliberately get you hurt, especially if they don't like you. So you definitely don't want to be seen having any conversations with any screws that you don't need to be having because I can guarantee you if you are new to the prison system and you seem to be forever talking to the screws, I promise you that um, somebody is going to say something to you about that and someone might even do something about that and you definitely don't want to be doing that. And so, yeah, you definitely don't want to be buddy-buddy and, um, you know, people people will use the screws fakeness and they will fall into that and, like, so these screws can get you just as hurt as the criminals can and they do and they will do like say for instance if you if you piss a screw off you, they will definitely try everything they can to make your day as hard as they can and they definitely will continue to do this so don't be buddy buddy with the screws and you won't have anyone thinking that you're being a snitch but also this is like a second part of this one i think that a rapport with the screws is also important Um, Now, this doesn't mean you have to be buddy-buddy with them, but it's better to have the screws thinking you are kind to them rather than them thinking you are a troublemaker. If they have it out for you, you will only make it – they will only make your time harder. So like I just said before, if a screw's got a problem with you, like say if I've done something wrong to a screw and for whatever reason that screw hates me for whatever reason, all they have to do is go tell somebody that's in the know that you're a snitch and you will get got for being that person, I promise you. So I always say, you know, don't be buddy-buddy with the screws, but it's also good to have a rapport with them, and then that way you're not going to have to worry about screws undercutting you and trying to get you taken out, which they do do, and especially at Port Phillip. Um, Next one, never gamble in prison. Um, everyone loves to gamble, but not everyone can pay, and people will push and push and deliberately get you to a point where you can't possibly pay it back just to have you indebted to them so they can get you to do things that they don't want to do themselves and also pay you money that you probably shouldn't be paying. Like gambling is a very dangerous game to play. People get very, very serious about the gambling and you definitely do not want to be getting involved with the gambling. People do cheat and in saying that also, if you get caught cheating at the poker table in prison, you're going to get muffed up for it. But if anyone thinks that just because they've played poker at the Crown that they can go to prison and play poker with another you know seven deadly crims i promise you it is a lot different than the crown and you you will find that out and so you know i always say do not gamble because people you know team up together to cheat and they will definitely take all your money off you and yeah you definitely don't want that to happen um all right next one is Don't ever isolate yourself away from everyone else. Don't think that you are better than anyone else because it's your first time locked up. Never spend all your time in your cell. People will get sus on you thinking that you are hiding because you have something to hide, um, like being a snitch or being a sour grapist. So, you know, don't isolate yourself away and definitely don't think that you're better than anyone else a lot of people get a big shock when they come to prison because it's mainly junkies or people that are really hard into the drugs and people come there because they don't use drugs they think that they're better than other people and this usually ends up in those people that thinking they're better than people getting a a good serving and uh, you know i mean like they'll they'll get a two-piece feed and so you can't be going around thinking that you're better than anyone else just because you don't do drugs but also you know never isolate yourself and never ever lock yourself away in your cell for any time more than needs to be done you definitely don't want to be doing that um you'll be seen as a cave dweller and yeah people will think that you are hiding away in your cell because you have something too hide so get out there and about like i said in the other videos don't get out there and try and make friends of everyone but get out and about so people can see that you are out and about and then people will see that you know you're not a suspect and you are getting in amongst it all right so my last one here what we'll do is do not shit in your cell after lockup if you have a cellmate 
it's probably one of the more serious of the unwritten laws that people will reinforce if broken. So, yeah, let's not get it twisted. If you have a cellmate, you definitely cannot shit in that cell after lockdown. Now, people ask me, why can't you do that? Well, that's because people cook up after lock up and you're locked in there for 12 hours. The last thing you want to be doing is sniffing, you know, your cellmate's turd for the next four or five hours um and yeah it's just just makes people uncomfortable but you've got to eat in there and that after lock-in and it's just seen as the right thing to do and that you shouldn't be doing that so yeah don't be doing shits in your cell i'll use an example people will try and get away with this and try and do a shit in the middle of the night now i've had this happen to me on a number of times and the last time i had this happen to me the dude copped a two-piece two-piece feed mid wind, midway through snapping one off and i guarantee you he wished that he had have listened to me earlier when he asked me if he could do that in the cell and i said hell no you got to wait till you get it let out in the morning like everyone else and that's exactly what i expected but that is not what happened and so he got a two-piece feed but um all right guys that's going to wrap it up for number two of the unwritten laws and rules of the australian prison rules um yeah if you guys don't want to be dealing with this shit don't do drugs and crime and you won't end up in prison and won't have to deal with this psychotic high school musical rules that will, you know, can get people killed. And, you know, if you don't want to be dealing with these crimes, uh, these rules, don't do drugs and crime and you won't end up in prison. And like I've said before, if you're doing drugs and crime every day and you're not ending up in prison, you're probably a snitch anyway and you don't want to be there. All right, guys, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. We out. Oh, also, before I go, guys, if you haven't shot me a subscription, jump up there, shoot me a su subscription. That would be really appreciated. Smash that bell. That way you'll never miss any of my clips again. All right, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. We out.